Hey guys, welcome to your May 2023 prediction reading for um, Leo. Uh, so you could apply this to any of your placements uh, because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, so we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in May. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements, okay? Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading uh, tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me the uh, link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So um, tell me about Leo. Tell me about Leo. What's going on with Leo in May? What's going on with Leo in May? Four of Pentacles and the Hermit. You know, Four of Pentacles could be an indication that there, there's maybe a struggle with money or that, you know, with the Four of Pentacles and the Hermit, you are keeping to yourself. You are doing some soul searching. You are introspecting, self-reflecting here, okay? You know, I do feel like you're trying to really gain some sort of knowledge or gain some sort of perspective on how you can improve your life. You know, with the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Magician here, Gemini, Virgo, I do feel like in the month of May, I do feel like you're going to take control of your life. Like, I just feel like you're going to get back in the driver's seat and you're going to take control here, okay? So, you know, I feel like maybe you lost a bit of control here, okay? Maybe you lost a piece of yourself here or that you lost yourself here and you're, that you're trying to find yourself right now, Leo. King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Magician, Gemini, Virgo. Eight of Swords. And the Ten of Pentacles. One of the things I'm getting here is that I feel like someone here is worried that they're not going to find fulfillment. Yeah, someone here is not going to find happiness here. Someone here is not going to find, you know, financial stability or something like that. So I feel like, you know, there's an energy of someone here definitely stepping out of that matrix here, stepping out of that fear, okay? Um, you know, one of the things I'm getting here, you know, sometimes it tends as a representation of like endings here. There, there could be something that's coming to a close for you and that you're, you know, you're, you're, you're about to embark on this new journey here. I do feel like you're about to embark on this new journey because you're in that hermit energy. Okay, tell me of the Four of Pentacles here. Six of Cups, the Hermit, and the Page of Swords. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like someone here is learning how to let go of the past. Yeah, I do feel like someone here is holding on to the past and not letting it go. For whatever that reason might be, you know, it could be fears, it could be insecurities, it could be abandonment issues, it could be codependency or something like that. But I feel like someone here is gaining knowledge about that, trying to learn from that. You know, and trying to use that knowledge to apply it to improve their life. Page of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Sun here. We have a Page of Cups. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that someone's inner child, someone's inner child wounds are coming to the surface here. Things that someone here that has never dealt with before, it's coming to the surface. Okay. Um, so I do feel like there's a wave of emotions that's washing over someone. You know, someone here might be having a good cry or something like that, or is about to have a good cry, okay? Um, yeah, I do feel like someone here is reconnecting with a part of themselves that they really disconnected themselves from, okay? Um, Four of Wands and the King of Pentacles here. I just feel like someone here has worked really hard to get to this place that are that they are at, that they are at in life you know the financial stability here you know the 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 the, the, the uh, you know happiness you know regarding your home regarding your family regarding your relationship but i feel like someone here is not enjoying it though 
It's almost like an energy of someone here is going through a midlife crisis. You know, may, perhaps maybe you're going through a midlife crisis here, Leo. Maybe you know someone that's going through a midlife crisis. So the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, yeah, one of the things that someone here might have gone as far as they could in their work. And they, I, and I feel like someone here is definitely going through a, like a major transitional period. Okay, so what else do we have for, for Leo? What else do we have here for Leo? What does Leo need to look out for? Work on here for May 2023 for Leo. We have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, the Page of Wands here, Ace of Cups, Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords. You know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is that someone here is definitely in the self-sabotaging energy. And I feel like someone here is trying to overcome that. There is definitely some major shadow work being done. Yeah, someone here is definitely doing some deep shadow work here. So it's like, so it's kind of like someone here is definitely, you know, facing the dark, you know, facing the darkness in order to experience that light, you know? So, you know, I do feel like, you know, there's a, there's an energy of kind of like backtracking a little bit. You know, sometimes we do have to take a couple of steps back in order for us to move forward. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. Uh, the moon card, uh, Cancer, Pisces energy here. The Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Ace of Cups and the Ten of Wands. This is, this is really interesting because I feel like what I'm getting here is that someone here has always felt like they were a burden. Yeah, they were a burden, you know, uh, a burden to be loved by others. You know, another thing I'm getting here, someone here could be taking on others peop other people's problems or other people's burdens. So I feel like, you know, I feel like someone here has a lot of unexpressed emotions, okay? But I feel like someone here is also taking on other people's unexpressed emotions. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like a bit of a martyr victim-like energy. And I feel like you're trying, you're learning, you're, there's definitely an energy of someone here definitely trying to rewire the way that they think, you know, the way that they, uh, uh, you know, behave when it comes to like, you know, themselves and other people here. Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords. There's definitely, de definitely self-sabotage here. Someone here is just confused. Someone here is just lost. Someone here is just, you know, depressed and anxious here because two, seven plus two is nine. That's nine swords. I feel like someone here is starting to learn to trust their intuition. You know, I do feel like, you know, there is, you know, someone here is definitely feeling some sort of hope or optimism moving towards the future here because someone here is really serious, serious about doing this deep inner work here. You know, I do feel like someone here is very empathic, but I, I do feel like it's a, it's been blocked out by the fear or it's, it's been blocked out by the mind here. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Cups here. Nine of Wands. There's a lot of trauma surrounding love here. Yeah. Surrounding love, surrounding romance here. We have the King of Wands here and the Queen of Wands here. This is a true pair. This is a soulmate connection here. Okay. Um, you know, so Leo, you could be in love with somebody that you might have possibly hurt here at some point. Okay, so the Queen of Wands here and the Nine of Wands, and they feel like maybe that's something that someone here, that you could be holding on to because maybe there's regret about hurting somebody here. But with the World card here, and World and the Seven of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Death card in the reverse, you know, I do feel like there's a great opportunity for change. But with the Death card in the reverse, someone here doesn't really deal with change really well especially in the reverse here. So Leo, I, I, I do feel like you're in the thick of something here. You're definitely working through something. You're definitely healing here. Yeah, you're definitely, uh, you know, reconnecting with a part of yourself that you disconnected, that you swept under the rug or you swept to the side, you know, or that you put a Band-Aid on and that Band-Aid fell off, okay? So Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.